What's going on guys? Welcome to Spider-Man Always. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. Today's video is not on Spider-Man. We actually had the release of Marvel Legends on Disney Plus. Two quick 10 minute episodes for both Scarlet Witch and Vision. Basically to point new fans in directions of where they may want to look for the upcoming narrative. And of course to encourage everyone to go rewatch some MCU on Disney Plus. We also had a ton of updates, new trailers and TV spots, and more notably, the release just a couple of hours ago that the press junket would include official screeners for the first three episodes going out tomorrow morning, and we'll start to get reactions. We're gonna break down what's going on with that new footage, what that'll mean for what you'll be hearing over the weekends, whether or not you'll have to dodge spoilers, and of course, speculate just a little bit about all the rest of the news we've heard about what could be coming in the finale of this series. We're gonna break down everything WandaVision related, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're still giving away this PlayStation 5 at 800,000 subscribers, as well as a ton of new Marvel prizes we're announcing in just a couple of days. If you wanna be entered to win, all you have to do, hit that subscribe button, then leave a comment down below, and if you want, stick around at the end of the video, we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So Marvel was kind of hoping you noticed this week they ramped up their marketing almost tenfold. We got three or four brand new 30 second TV spots and trailers. We had Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany both going on Jimmy Kimmel. We had the production brief completely published 18 pages long of all the behind and in front of the camera stuff. And then all of a sudden the release that the press junket would actually have screeners for three episodes we confirmed today. The way we were able to confirm this was the screeners who actually got to see these first three episodes said that coming tomorrow morning they can share their reviews and thoughts. Now they're not going to include any major spoilers. That's actually part of the deal but what Marvel's trying to do is get all of these writers a first look at the first three episodes so that in the coming weeks when they start to post reviews but mostly in the coming days they can build the hype going into the debut next week and if there's any sort of people on the fence or who haven't signed up for the Disney Plus subscription yet maybe they can sort of convince them and get in all in on the debut. Now that leads directly into why they've officially announced and if you haven't heard yet, they'll actually be giving us two full episodes on Friday instead of just the first one and really there's two reasons here. The first of which is that they're only 30 minutes long and there's a lot of hype been building up towards this. We've been waiting a while for MCU content. Since we only get a half hour they want to go ahead and give us two. The other is that both of these episodes are going to play very differently as we've come to expect over the first nine episodes the first four or five are just going to be tropes and allegories of some of our other favorite sitcoms and I'm thinking that if they let it go too long basically they wanted to give us a first look at two episodes to talk about they didn't want to have a week between just the first one and then out of context not get to see what's going on I also don't expect there's a lot of us who don't expect major reveals for the narrative and storyline really until we get out of that early phase of just troping early sitcoms into some of the longer episodes at the back end and that leads directly into these most recent reports that it's going to have VFX akin to Avengers movies, that this is going to have some full set pieces leading into Multiverse of Madness, which has now been reported by industry insiders to be as big as Avengers Endgame. Now, that's where I want to stop and speculate for just a moment. Firstly, I hate that claim because the budget on Avengers Endgame may never be seen again, that two-part series. And on top of that, just because you have a ton of VFX doesn't mean you're actually culminating an entire saga. I know there may be the inclusion of a ton of new heroes heroes including old Spider-Man and who knows who else teaming up alongside Doctor Strange to try to stop Wanda Maximoff. That being said, it's not going to be as big as Avengers Endgame. Even the reference though and the thought by the time that we get to the end of this nine episode series that we could see set pieces and final battles akin to what we're already used to from Avengers movies leaves the door wide open as to not only what we're going to get in terms of a final battle or what we'll see on the screen for Disney Plus, how much VFX they're going to put into it, but also what kind of characters could show up, meaning just how many Avengers could we see by the end of the show. Now we already know we're gonna see one in Doctor Strange. There's several casting listings that have confirmed Benedict Cumberbatch will be present at some point during this series. But then you think about it, there's a pocket reality S.W.O.R.D. is trying to sort of deal with on their own without superheroes, that's gonna be rather difficult. And if any way they have to sort of fight against Vision and Wanda Maximoff, they're gonna need a couple of Avengers to do that. And there's only so many any left we don't have Tony we don't have Steve Rogers Falcon is in who knows what position at this point by the time that this goes live right after we see the end of Avengers Endgame 
basically I think there's a chance that we'll see more than Doctor Strange. There's only a couple of characters to have to choose from. And there's only a couple of characters that can go up against Wanda's power level, which really here is going to be the trick depending on who's the villain and who's not. And I think that goes a lot into what we've already seen when theory heavily held that Vision himself could actually be the villain and I've seen that suggested in a couple of places we'll have to wait and see on all of that but we do know that it's Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios intention to make this a seamless integration that the MCU on Disney Plus should stand as an extension of the canon and not different in any way from quality and these these movies don't exist on their own anymore there is always the introduction of ancillary characters Wanda's direct connection to the Avengers her history with that team and the way that they want to handle this and then you look at Mandalorian Lorian and then bringing back someone like Luke Skywalker if they're willing to bring those kind of characters back and do those kind of set pieces for Star Wars then who knows what they're going to do for their most popular and most lucrative IP in Marvel Studios MCU content that's why I think the door is wide open for someone like the Hulk or different Avenger that's still left and fighting in the MCU to show up during the series and I specifically chose this clip there was an original theory that WandaVision may eventually awaken World Breaker Hulk or some Ultimate Hulk because of this clip right here all of the visions we saw from the original age of Ultron visions that she implanted in the Avengers came true during the Infinity Saga except for this one right here never played out and there was some theories floating around on Reddit that in Hulk's eyes what he was seeing was the eventual future of him becoming enraged we could see it on WandaVision I think the Hulk is a stretch but then you think about how many heroes are left and when they want to bring these heroes in we already know he's going to show up on She-Hulk I think there's a chance we're going to see at least one more Avenger or a couple of Avengers other than Doctor Strange and if it's not Hulk you guys let me know who's even left to go up against her power set Captain Marvel would she even be interested could we see her on the series I'm all ears to your guys theories let me know in the comments below and quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go we're still giving away this PlayStation 5 at 800,000 subscribers as well as a ton of Marvel related prizes we're announcing next week if you want to be entered to win any of the prizes here at the channel all the same rules will always apply hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber and then all you have to do is leave a comment on this video and because it's truly random the more videos you comment on the better chance you have of winning comments are how we choose the winners after we choose the video now in order to better do that hit the notification bell with notifications turned on to keep up with the content of course if you enjoyed today's video the rest of the videos here at the channel i'd appreciate it if you hit the like button my name is michael roman you can find me in a couple of places online on instagram at i am fires on twitter under the same handle you can find me with original music including the song you hear here over on spotify under all fires and even streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash novellan there are links to all of those down in the description below guys thanks so much for checking out the channel and stick around we will be posting again real real soon